Hello guys, welcome to another Jira administration tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the Jira permission helper and how you can utilize Jira permission helper to troubleshoot some of the permission issues in Jira. So in the last tutorial, uh, we have seen uh, how we have customized the permission scheme for a project. So we'll go to that particular project again. So we did work with RCV Academy online portal project, which is currently selected. Now let's go to the project settings and see the permission scheme that we had used. So in the last tutorial, I have walked you through how you can create a new permission scheme by copying the existing permission scheme and then edit the permissions the project permissions if there is a requirement within your organization so this is the new permission scheme that if you see uh, I have associated it with two of the projects uh, so these two projects here in the list are using this particular uh, new software permission scheme now if you scroll down below what change we did in this scheme was that for the create issue permission we associated the create issue permission with the project role developer so any members who are part of the developers um, role will be able to create issues right so let's see um, who all are the members of the product role uh, project role developers and see whether they are and and then go ahead and see the permission helper and how it will help you to resolve some of the issues so if i go to the users and roles again in the project now in the developer section you can see that um, you can see that uh, two of the members jay guyan and uh, manish are the members in the in the developers group at the moment or developers role at the moment now if we go back to permissions again and here at the top you'll see permission helper so now because in this project these two members are part of that role so they should be able to create the issue and any other person should not be able to create the issue so if you just type in create issue permission so this is the permission helper window whosoever user you want to um, check it for and select any uh, issue type there and what permission you are trying to check him for so for example you got a uh, request from some user that i'm not able to uh, create an issue in this particular project can you please check uh, and you are the project administrator of that particular project then what will you do you'll just the first thing you'll do is you go to the permission helper and see uh, whether that user has the permission so you do that create permission uh, create issue permission select that and click on submit right so now you can see that create issue permission is available to jqn right so he should be able to create the issues and we have seen that because he is member of uh, because he is part of the developers role he should be able to create the uh, issues now if i select any other user for example alex john uh, and then try to check whether Alex has the create issue permission no he doesn't so he Alex does not have create issue permission and uh, then if you click on uh, the failed condition here you'll see that summary is provided project role Alex is not member of the developers project role you can change this by going to online uh, portal project roles and adding Alex to the missing role so this becomes sort of really really helpful in troubleshooting uh, some of the key permission issues in uh, the Jira project administration or even in the Jira administration so permission helper is really powerful tool uh, within Jira to help identify what all permission issues could be possible uh, for the members so please um, try to use it as much as you can and it will really help you to identify 
uh, the actual status, the summary and the details, what exactly you need to do in order to fix the issues uh, related to the permission in Jira. So hope you like this little video around the permission helper. Please do share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.